Welcome to the Pony Demonstration of Energy Saving System in Classrooms by using PIC Microcontroller and IoT. So here we have the features like first of all with the help of these two IR sensors we are going to count the persons that is in or out and also whenever the person count is between 1 to 5 then one bulb and one fan is allowed to switch on that's to be based on the sensors input so for light on there is a light, uh, there should be a light LDR input means darkness should be detected and to switch on the fan then there should be a like temperature should be above 40 degrees centigrade for demonstration purpose we keep this as a 40 degrees centigrade and for LDR you should cover up this LDR sensor then it will detect the dark and then check with the counting 1 to 5 1 light and 5 to 10 both lights will be on and whenever there is no count means zero counts all lights will be off and if the count is incremented if there is a normal condition from the LDR and temperature sensor then also the bulbs will be in off state and continuously we are going to send the sensors data to the things peak along with the count so like how many uh, students enter into this room and uh, the uh, darkness level that is 0 to 255 and next LM35 temperatures data so these three data will be uploaded to the ThinkSpeak cloud platform with the help of this ESP8266 module so let us see the flow uh, like we are going to provide the 230 volts input from this cable to this regulated power supply boards so here we are using two boards as of these IR sensor and ESP8266 will take the more power consumption that's why we are using the two regulated power supply boards and parallelly you can observe that the 230 volts is given to the two loads through this electromagnetic relays and after uh, the output from this regulated power supply boards is 5 volts so we are providing directly 5 volts to the uh, our peak motherboard and then it start reading input from the input IR sensors and LDR and LM35 temperature sensor based on these inputs we are going to display the temperature as well as the count on the 16 by 2 LCD screen and we are going to controlling the these two fans with the help of this transistor boards so there we are using BC547 transistor with 1 kilo ohm trigger resistor so by controlling the uh, transistor we are going to controlling the fans at the same time to control these two bulbs we are going to making use of this electromagnetic relays so this relay board consists of one LED to show the status of the relay and one transistor to control this relay so microcontroller going to control the transistor transistor will control the relay relay will control the bulb so in this manner we are going to control in the main load and this relay board consists of one diode that is IN4007 so the purpose of the diode is so whenever we are going to controlling the relay to on and off then there is a uh, back EMF will be generated so this diode is connected in reverse bias so that the back EMF will be neutralized as a uh, flyback uh, free wheeling diode here and coming to the motherboard so this one is the reset switch to restart the microcontroller this is the reset switch to restart the microcontroller and this red LED is a uh, a power LED indication and the green light is program LED indication when we switch on the kit the particular light will be on and off two times to show the status of like the kit got initialized properly and uh, next let us see the demonstration directly before switching on the kit we need to do uh, some steps so that is go to hotspot settings of your phone so eventually go to thingspeak.com and log into the thingspeak from the given credential just click on the channel so there we get the previous data so flow uh, field 1 is going to be the temperature in degree centigrade and field 2 is a LDR that is a darkness of that is 0 to 255 and a count how many of students entered till now so next go to hotspot settings of your phone change the hotspot name to project 5121 without any space without any capital letter I am repeating that so without any space and without any capital letter password should be 12345689 so after that enable the hotspots and data so enable the hotspot data with the name and password and then log into the thingspeak.com 
so stay on the screen we will get the new data so we will tell you how to erase the old data and how to uh, download the data also so now we can switch on the main motherboard so here while demonstrating the project we should check that only one light should on another light will be on when we place the object in front of that so restart the system there we can see the one device is connected in your phone so ESP got corrected now stay at the things speak screen let the new data should be arrived so on each data you can click on that so you can get the new data will be displayed along with parameters so the data will be uploaded to ThinkSpeak for every 15 seconds of duration as ThinkSpeak will accept only 15 seconds of duration data. And now, so count is 1. So the darkness is not there detected. So just to cover up that, so you can see the data is uploading to the ThinkSpeak platform. So as a cover of the LDR, so the LDR informed to the microcontroller, so there is a dark and the controller will check the count. So if the count is 1 to 5, then the bulb will get switched on one bulb. And if the temperature is also high, which I am going to give the temperature. So when it is above 50 degrees centigrade, you can see that one fan also got switched on. And let us go with the decrement of the counts. So the count should be decremented in this manner. Right. So if the person is like he came here, so without giving input to the second IR sensor, so if he yeah, return back, see, so I came here and return back. So there is no count decrement. Only it should be in the manner of two IR sensor should be detected. So you can check that now. Three. 4, 5, 6. So now count is 6. The two devices got switched on. And let us see the two fans also. The two fans got switched on. And we can get the so called data in our things speak. So, in order to clear this, so you can download that. So, for downloading, initially go to data import export and in that download the data so open that so you can see the excel data excel sheet so how many number of entries have happened and first field is going to be temperature second is the darkness is detected so and the number of persons count you can see that so after downloading that so you can go to channel settings next so data import export to download the data channel settings there only do clear channel don't touch any other tabs only clear channel okay done channel got cleared so now go to private view so private view right so the total old data got erased and now stay on the screen till the new data will be uploaded as we discussed it will be uploaded to the thingspeak cloud for 15 seconds of duration So now see, so the counting exit. So when you exit also, see, so this particular light should be off initially, then it should off next. So then the count will be decrements. So if you move in this direction, again same manner, then the count increments and decrement also like this. Okay. So again, when the total persons are went out, so you can see the data is coming into the ThinkSpeak cloud platform. So on year one and next so in this manner. So C four three two one.
0. So only off. Right? 